Hey mathematicians, it's Sarah at Geeky Teachy, and I'm here to show you the strategy for elapsed time called mountains, hills, and rocks. I'm going to start with a word problem so I know what I'm solving for. Christy arrived at school at 745. Her mom signed her out of school at 128 for a dentist appointment. How long was Christy in school that day? I'm going to slide my word problem up so I have space to work here. And I'm going to use this red line on the base of my notebook paper to make uh, what looks like a number line. Now, when I use this strategy, I have three options. I can add a mountain, which is worth one hour, a hill, which is worth 10 minutes, or a rock, which is worth one minute. I'm given a start time, which is 745. I have an end time of 128, but I'm not sure how much time will elapse to get from 745 to 128. So I'm going to use my mountains, hills, and rocks in order to find that out. I want to work from 745 to 128, and I know I can add an hour, and every time I intersect with the number line, I'm going to label my new time. 745 plus one hour is 845. I can add another hour. That'll put me at 9 1245, 10 1245, 11 1245, 12 1245. Each of my mountains are worth one hour. Now, I can't add another hour because 145 would be past the end time of 128. So now I'm going to add hills to get me closer to that end. 1245 plus 10 more minutes is 1255 plus 10 minutes. 1265 doesn't make sense. I've never seen that on a clock. When I get to 60, I'm at the next hour, which is 1 o'clock. So I add 10 minutes and get to 105. 10 more minutes puts me at 115. And I get to 125. I'm almost to 128. I'm going to add three rocks. 125, 126, 127, 120. Eight. So now I can total up all of my elapsed time. I have one, two, three, four, five hours. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43 minutes. So Christy was at school for five hours and 43 minutes that day.